Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 20 of 2018 today on air services agreement between Bahrain and Malaysia after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. The air services agreement was signed in Kuala Lumpur on May the 2nd of 2017. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received this evening at Sakhir Palace the Board of Trustees and Secretary General of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence under the chairmanship of Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa where they congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan wishing him and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests hailing their efforts in serving the country and their support to the message of the center and its noble goals. He affirmed his support to the center's initiatives and its current and future programs. His Majesty commanded this is Bahrain event which was held in the United Kingdom that has reflected a bright image of the kingdom with its different religions and sects and unified society. He asserted that the duties of the center are in line with the kingdom's leading role in spreading the co values of coexistence, tolerance and interfaith dialogue. His Majesty wished the guests success in carrying their noble duty. For his part, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his wise directives, praising his continuous support to the center and its act actives. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of officials where he reviewed a number of local affairs and government efforts that aim to ensure that citizens have the best living standards in a safe and stable environment. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a giant economic force in light of the procedures taken by Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud that have maintained the Saudi economy and enabled it to create a opportunities out of challenges to reach the highest levels of development under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of continued vigilance and cautious against attempts that aim to disrupt the security and stability and affect the development of the country and the prosperity of its people. He also stressed that the kingdom will not allow any foreign interference in its internal affairs and added there will be no tolerance towards those who threaten the security and stability of the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gudaybiyah Palace the United Kingdom Secretary of State for International Trade Dr. Liam Fox. His Royal Highness noted the bilateral deep-rooted relations and their common interests 
towards achieving economic, political, and commercial development. He also noted the Kingdom's aspiration to consolidating strategic cooperation with the UK to achieve development and maintain stability in the region. His Royal Highness expressed aspiration towards achieving security in the region in light of the many conflicts that have affected international trade. He stressed the importance of creating more joint projects with the two countries' private sectors, which will have a positive impact on the cooperation in various fields. He added that opportunities are available for foreign investments in the Kingdom, including British investments with facilitations and legislations that aim to ensure the success of such projects. The UK Secretary of State for International Trade affirmed that the facilitations provided by the Kingdom, as well as its stability and advanced economic programs, has made it an attractive investment destination, which has been consolidated with the recent oil discovery. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Bahraini government, led by His Royal Highness, for supporting bilateral relations and cooperation and for encouraging the establishment of joint Ventures. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the United Kingdom Secretary of State for International Trade Dr. Liam Fox at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the bilateral long-standing strategic ties and noted the extensive cooperation between the two countries in all sectors. He emphasized that Bahrain is eager to further expand commercial and trade relations with the UK in addition to increasing the private sector's collaboration. The meeting presented an opportunity to discuss different aspects of trade and economic cooperation as well as potential opportunities to advance bilateral relations. Dr. Fox expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and extended his appreciation for his support of bilateral ties. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited yesterday the Majlis of Al Fadala family, the Majlis of Al Rumayhi family and the Majlis of Al Kaabi family. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes on the holy month of Ramadan and affirmed that the Kingdom's development program is built on solid foundations enabling Bahrain to overcome different challenges that are facing the region. He highlighted that collaborations between the executive and legislative branches has further advanced the Kingdom's development 
development and promoted the role of the private sector as an engine for growth. He noted that within the past three years, 134 laws has been introduced to deliver on the objectives of the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's institutions are underpinned by a robust regulatory and strategic framework, which comprises the Kingdom's constitution, the National Action Charter, and Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, all of which are designed to enhance development opportunities for citizens. The Majesty's hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit visit and acknowledge his continuous contribution to the kingdom's development.
The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved a draft law on issuing the Personal Data Protection Law. The Council also approved the request submitted by 18 Council members on the proposal of the Constitutional Amendment of the first paragraph of the Constitution's Article 91. The Ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, held an iftar banquet on the occasion of the holy month that was attended by senior officials in the U.S. White House Administration, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Defense, United States Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. Congress, and various intellectual centers, universities, and non-government companies and organizations. The Ambassador delivered a speech in which he welcomed the guests and con congratulated them on the occasion. He noted the importance of Ramadan to Muslims and the opportunity it represents to increase worship and philanthropic work and highlighted the values of tolerance in the Bahraini community. Three main religious figures of various religi religious affili affiliations in the U.S. discussed coexistence and religious tolerance, hailing the model Bahrain represents in the two principles. They expressed thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, commending his vision that ignorance is the enemy of peace, and His Majesty's support to maintaining the Bahraini model of coexistence and tolerance. They also praised Bahrain's document of tolerance and religious coexistence that was signed in Los Angeles last September. The guests thanked the ambassador for the invitation. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid thanked the guests for sharing iftar with their Muslim brothers, wishing everyone many happy returns. Bahrain's past is built on the idea of peaceful coexistence and can thank much of its history, his historic success to maintaining this idea. His Majesty the King has embraced and promoted this same vision and has gone to great lengths to amplify the needed dialogue that is a cornerstone to peaceful coexistence. To name a few initiatives, his Majesty launched in his namesake the Global Center for Interfaith, Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, as well as the Declaration of Worldwide Religious Tolerance, which, has un which was unveiled at the Simon Wiesenthal Center Interfaith event at the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles, which also centered on, attack uh, on attacking terrorism in all its forms. We hope to continue being a platform for conversations on tolerance and hope to see a world where we all live in peace with one another. Thank you. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop urgent solutions to ease traffic flow across the kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning has started work on the expansion of Nasr bin Jabr Al Jabr Avenue in the Seif area. The Assistant Under Secretary for Roads, Hoda Abdullah Fakhro, confirmed that the expansion of the avenue will help ease traffic congestions that have resulted from new commercial developments in the area. The Assistant Under Secretary stated that the expansion will also increase the capacity of the street entrance from Road 40 to 2,000 vehicles per hour, reducing waiting times at the intersection of Seaf Bridge.